Welcome, I'm John Champion. I think we all hope fervently that the game tonight has plenty in store for us. Mark Lawrenson is alongside me up in the box here. Thanks, John. I'm really anticipating this one. Let's hope it lives up to all those expectations. Here we go. Even though this is just an exhibition match, the fans of both teams in the stadium are really up for it. Let's just hope the players follow suit. lively atmosphere as we get underway you can just feel the tension mounting two stylish teams two ambitious sides it's been the key to the entertainment on offer they both share a belief in an attractive way of playing football nothing negative about them and Gerard here's Fernando Torres maybe a miss hit it was off target well, if the game continues like this, we're in for some match. What a start. They're playing fast-flowing football. Here's Count. Good challenge. Defender in the way, Fernando Torres. 15 minutes have passed. And this is promising. Surely he can put it away. Fernando Torres. The shot's deflected out of the defender. Lifts it high. Read the play so well and got to the ball. Great work. Play through. What will he do? The keeper comes and collects it. Binnen. Gerard. Out wide. We're waiting for the first goal, and a good cross could set it up. Showed his defensive quality there. Rooney. And at the last possession is lost. Gerard. Scholes. Tennant. Gerard. Keeper's there. He made the right move and picks it up. Sylvest. Scholes. Some beautiful football being played out here with superb movement on and off the ball. 
The opposition midfield seems to have just disappeared. Couch. Surely this has to be just about the last kick of the game here. Real chance. He got to the shot but couldn't hold it. Or... There is half-time. The players from both sides head for the changing rooms. There might well be a bit of sorting out needed during the interval. Well, we've seen a bit of frustration from the strikers on both sides. They struggle to create clear-cut chances, let alone score. Both sides are starting to shoot from distance a bit more, as they can't open up the defences. Neither side conceding a goal. The second half gets underway. And one could only guess as to what the content of the half-time team talks was in the respective dressing rooms. A big surprise here that so much attacking play didn't bring a goal in the first half. No real need for a change of approach from either team. The half-time team talks would have been relatively easy for the managers to give. Just keep on doing the same sorts of things, he looks said. It's good tackling back. Couch. Intercepted well. Trying to play through each other, but it's that final ball that's lacking. No, not this one. Skulls. Harry. And into the last half hour of the game. It's through. a poor pass didn't look before he played it there's the whistle and the flags up just caught offside that Xavi Alonso Risa now a chance Fernando Torres goalkeeper had his eye on that and saw it was going wide of the post he just let the ball run and hit it nicely, but not well enough to beat the keeper this time. Silvest looking for the incisive pass. The defender cuts this one out. Good running off the ball. Still got a lot to do from there, but the all-important touch. We've reached the last 15 minutes of the game. Cristiano Ronaldo. Totally mistimed his tackle there and gives away a free kick. And there'll be a yellow card for the foul too. The referee had a good view of it. It's a long way out to be having a go at goal. Fernando Torres. Now about that for tackling back. Harry. Attack came to nothing. Gerard. There will be one more minute added on. Out. And a punch away by the keeper there, sends it behind for a corner kick. Drifts one in. There goes the whistle to signal the end of the second half and the scores are level. No one able to provide the breakthrough here, so we head into extra time. Despite the scoreline, this has been a pulsating fixture so far. There's been a fair amount of goal mouth action at both ends, so sooner or later, something will have to give. The first half of extra time underway now. A lot of tired legs out there. A true test of fitness and stamina from here on in. 
It's all about who wants it more at this stage. Fernando Torres. The keeper deals with it. Silvest. And keeping possession very impressively. And he's now got the ball on the other side. Ferdinand. Silvest. between these two sides even after the first half of extra time here all about stamina who's going to have that in the second period I wonder the concentration levels from the defenders on both sides has been immense the last opportunity and I have to say most of the players out there are close to exhaustion has anyone got anything left to grab a winner Great day for the defenders of both teams. I can see some very tired and demoralised strikers out there. But they have to bear in mind that a chance may still come. Slack defending, gave it away. Now an opportunity to cross. Rooney. Fernando Torres. It's a firm block tackle. Here's Scholes. He needs room. Careless tackle in a dangerous place. Referee points to the penalty spot. And a yellow card too for the foul. The packed crowd behind the goal trying their best to put him off. The noise is deafening. Oh, it must have just shaved the left post. Well, he crumbled under the pressure. He normally scores, so he definitely won't be pleased with himself. He'll feel he's let the fans and his teammates down. Couch. Here's Ferdinand. No winner could be found, even after extra time, so it all comes down to a penalty shootout. And who can hold their nerve now and handle the pressure the better? Well, 120 minutes of football has been unable to produce a goal. I must say the defenders from both sides have been outstanding and repelled everything the strikers could throw at them. Although experience can calm the nerves in a penalty shootout, I'm sure there's always going to be an element of doubt in the players' minds. His job to get their five penalties off to a good start. Will he find the net? Struck with some authority. He made it, it's 1-1. One, one. He slots it home, it's one apiece. That start should calm the nerves a bit. Calmly puts it away, did really well under the pressure. At this stage, neither side is giving anything away. Drives it to the keeper's left-hand side. It's time for the captain to show what he's made of. And as always, he's keen to take on... He sends the keeper the wrong way. To the keeper's left. Finds a net, and it's a well-taken penalty. Great accuracy on the shot. Beautifully done. At 3 all, clearly no one's given an inch here. And already the tension is almost unbearable. Oh, the agony, he's fluffed it. The penalty takers are always under more pressure than the keeper. And it's sometimes enough to knock the confidence of even experienced players. That's in the left side of the net. He is fully focused with only one thing on his mind. It is in. They're still in the game. This could be it. He has to save this one to keep them in the game. Ah, he's missed. Well, he crumbled under the pressure. He normally scores, so he definitely won't be pleased with himself. He'll feel he's let the fans and his teammates down. Oh, the agony. He's fluffed it. He looks confident, and that's vital. Now, he just needs to beat the keeper. He saved it, amazing! Not the best taken penalty you'll ever see, but still credit to the keeper for saving it. To the keeper's right. 
miss this and the match is all over. Never easy to take penalties, so imagine... The kick decided the game. Such a tight contest. There was nothing at all separating them and the winner showed such excellent composure in the shootout. A real nail-biter right to the end with a great attitude from both sides. Neither was willing to give up the fight, but the team with a stronger nerve prevailed.